Life, they say, is like a winding road. You move in straight lines and navigate tough corners to the regions and the shadows. struggle with truth and doubt. Life was never made to be easy. But with faith, hard work, and a heart unafraid, you will reach the mountain top. Find the light that you can carry inside you. Through rough patches. You journey towards your goal. But knowing why you do it, for whom you do it, makes all the difference. But at the end of your trail, you live for the joy in the smiles of those whose lives you have touched. Not for any fame or glory, but because you chose to follow the Lord's path. To shine God's love into the darkest corners. And lead on to the light. I am called. I am a divine word missionary. Good morning. Join us for the prayer of Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you were already were, before even time began. You are the Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God, but in the fullness of time. You who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word, made flesh. 
You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love here after. Dear Jesus, Divine Word Incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, in love and service. May we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so we do treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the Feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Ponzalan, SBD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. You notice that the liturgical color for today is red. The reason is because today we celebrate the feast of one of the four gospel writers. The feast of one of the four evangelists. His name is St. Mark, and St. Mark's Gospel is the oldest among the four Gospels. St. Mark's Gospel is also the shortest among the four Gospels. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, 
Pamungkal walhatian Panginoon naming Diyos Sari ng langit Amang makapangyarihan Panginoon Heso Kristo Bugtong nanap ng Diyos Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na naluluklok sa kanan ng Ama. Maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw lamang ang banal. Panginoong Yesu Kristo, kasama ng Espiritu, salwalhati ng Ama. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark the Evangelist and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. Cast all your words upon Him, because He cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, conform, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in disguise can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. 
Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and he said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and the sick will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But he went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the feast of one of the four gospel writers, one of the four evangelists. His name is Mark, Saint Mark. In Greek, his name is Marcos with a K, M-A-R-K-O-S. In Latin, his name is Marcus, M-A-R-C-U-S. And Mark is said to be a cousin of Barnabas. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of Mark is the oldest among the four Gospels. And the Gospel of Mark is also the shortest among the four Gospels. The Gospel of Mark contains only 16 chapters, while the Gospel of John has 21 chapters, the Gospel of Luke has 24 chapters, and the Gospel of Matthew is the longest with 28 chapters. Later tradition makes Mark as one of the 72 disciples. He is not part of the 12 apostles. And whether Mark personally saw Jesus or not is something that we cannot say because the Gospels the Bible does not say if Mark personally met the Lord during his public ministry. His gospel was probably written for the Gentile converts in Rome after the death of Peter and Paul, sometime between 60 and 70 AD. And the gospel of Mark stresses the gradual manifestation of a scandal. And the scandal is that of a crucified Messiah. Like his fellow gospel writer St. Luke, Mark does not belong to the group of the Twelve Apostles. Venice in Italy claims Mark as its patron saint and the largest basilica in his honor is believed to contain his mortal remains in Venice in Italy. Mark's symbol is a winged lion. The lion derives from Mark's description of John the Baptist 
as a voice crying in the desert that artists have compared to a roaring lion. The winds come from the application of Ezekiel's vision of four wind creatures to the evangelists Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. The date of Mark's death is unknown. The, death, the date of Mark's death is uncertain. And the manner of his death is that of a martyr's death because he was dragged through the streets of Alexandria. My dear brothers and sisters, Mark fulfilled in his life what every Christian is called by God to do, and that is proclaim the gospel that is the source of our salvation. Mark's way of proclaiming the gospel is by writing the gospel. Others may proclaim the gospel through music or drama or poetry or teaching. Mark chose to write down one of the four Gospels. What is your way of proclaiming the Gospel? What is my way of proclaiming the same Gospel? Amen. Mark proclaimed the Gospel of the true Messiah Jesus the Christ. Let us ask the Father to hear our intentions for a world in need of the hope of the gospel. The response will be, Let your goodness be upon us, O Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicate care for those who are rejected by our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That those who, are, who wandered away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That young people may hear the voice of our Lord, calling them to conversion and to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That all those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your goodness, goodness be upon us, us, Lord. We also remember Elena Tindugan Luz on her birthday yesterday. We would like to pray for her as well as for the other intentions, like for the sick persons or individuals whom we know. Violeta Davis, Imelda Gauchi, Maribel Gonzalez, Gabriel de la Cruz, Risa Loma, Angelica Fandino, Matet Recentes, David Hines, Jerry Larano, Carmen de la Torre. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Almighty God, assisted by the prayers of Saint Mark, faithful herald of the gospel, we bring our intentions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Accountable holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my memory.
the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, Saint Mark, the evangelist, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God the Father. That is why we can pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, will, thy be done, will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive and us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us greet each other with a sign of Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the resurrected Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel that St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated for a few minutes. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. I'd like to, on behalf of Christ the King Mission Seminary, I'd like to acknowledge some individuals for the valuable donations that they sent to us for the support of our seminarians. Some of them do not want their names to be mentioned. We respect their request for privacy. But I'd like to mention some of them, like Mrs. Luz Mangahis, Robert Patrick Bueno, Meg Gonzalez, Cora Cortez, Connie Padua, Winda Piano, Loretta May Rosario, Froilan De Vera, Elena Tindugan Luz, happy birthday po, Dimson Mones, Meredith Reyes, as well as Emerita Lapasaran, Delphine and Chuchi Fonasier and family, Arlene Gonzalez, Ismael and Ophelia Llave from New York, Janice Dato from Vancouver, Nini Chanyunko, and Judge Amifaith Reyes. To all of you, we are sincerely appreciative and we are sincerely grateful. I would also like to continue to announce our appeal for for support for our seminarians at Christ the King. Uh, on your screen, we are showing the bank account details by which you can help and send your donations to support the studies and the formation of our seminarians. We have an account with Banco de Oro. The account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number is 000 2201-91247. And we also keep two GCash numbers that whose QR code are in front of you on your screen. You can also write me in ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. We appeal for help to support our seminarians this coming school year. We will have more and we have been blessed by God with many vocations. You are part of our, our, of our mission to form and to educate our seminarians here at Christ the King. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I also would like to thank um, some individuals, friends I met while I was in Cebu during the past few days. I thank you for your friendship and hospitality particularly the following, Franz D. and Cara Rinya, Dodong and Evelyn Rinya, even if I did not see you, I hope to see you next time, Noel and Jackie Gonzalez, Noel, Jackie, maraming maraming salamat, Bob and Joy Gothong, Joy, thank you so very much, Ricky and Lisa Lo, Eric and Go, rather, Eric and Brenda Uano, Ruel and Noni de la Torre, June and Vic and LV Biscocho, Mrs. Pilar Cusi. Mrs. Cusi, I was happy to see you, to visit you in your house, even for a short while. Thank you for the hospitality. I hope to see you again next time. Take care of yourself. Mr. and Mrs. Peter and Sally D. Mr. and Mrs. Ramon and Lily Lim. Narsin and Tere, Solon and family, especially Vien, and of course Christian and Sheila, Gilbert and Lani Pagobo. Finally, we met Gilbert and Lani. I'm very grateful and very happy to have seen you and your children, and also, of course, the Pink Sisters in Cebu who allowed me to celebrate the Mass on Sunday afternoon with them. Sa inyo pong lahat, dagang kayong salamat. Ang ping kanunay, I hope to see you again next time. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. 
let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer in honor to Christ the King. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. In deepest reverence, we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King, Jesus Christ, and offer Him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore and praise Him, to whom the Eternal Father said, Yours is the princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor before the day star like the Jew I will have begotten you yours are the heavens and yours is the earth the world and its fullness you have founded you receive dominion glory and kingship nations and peoples of every language serve you for through all things came into being and part from you nothing came to be. Therefore, from every nation and race, people and tongue, they cry out, Hail Christ the King! Of you the prophet said, A child is born to us, a son is given to us, upon his shoulder dominion rests, his dominion is vast and forever peaceful. Of you the Virgin Mary was told, the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will be without end. Prayer to Jesus and the values of the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, once more we gather before you, our Master and King, to listen to the words you spoke in the Beatitudes. We have listened we have been listening to the glamour of the world, but we now resolve to listen again to your voice in the Beatitudes. The world says, Happy are the rich, many and power rule the world. But you say, Happy are the poor in spirit, the rule of God is theirs. The world says, Happy are those who have a good time, they are the happy ones. But you say, Happy are the sorrowing, they shall be consoled. The world says, Happy are those greedy for power and fame, they shall rule the world. But you say, Happy are they who hunger and thirst for holiness, they shall be satisfied. The world says, Happy are the cold-hearted and the proud, they will dominate the earth. But you say, Happy are they who show mercy, mercy shall be theirs. The world says, Happy are do those who crush opposition with force. But you say, Happy are the peacemakers, they shall be called sons and daughters of God. The world says, Happy are those who know how to, de how to deceive and, and get ahead by lies and cheating. But you say, Happy are the single-hearted, honest persons, for they shall see God. The world says, Happy are, are you when the world flatters and applauds you, for people will esteem you highly. But you say, 
happy are you when they insult and persecute you and speak every kind of slander against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. They persecuted the prophets before you in the same way. On judgment day, Lord, we shall know the truth, the true word of every person, when we shall not care what people think of us, but only how we stand in our eyes and in the eyes of your Father. Then we shall realize, as never before, the values you express in the Beatitudes. Then we shall be happy if we have carried out your commandment of love. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 